North Connects, building for the future. North Connects will deliver a missing link in Sydney's road network, joining the Hills M2 motorway at West Pennant Hills to the M1 Pacific motorway at Warunga via twin nine kilometre long tunnels. North Connects tunnel construction. Building the tunnel is a complex process requiring careful planning and state-of-the-art machinery. The tunnels are up to 90 metres below the surface and are accessed via vertical shafts and ramps. The North Connects tunnels are being excavated by road headers, which are excavation machines with a rotating rock cutting head on the front mounted to a boom. The road header's cutting profile is controlled by an electronic guidance system and excavates the tunnel in two parts, a top heading and a bench. The heading is cut first. The excavated rock, or spoil, is collected on the apron of the road header and gathering arms rake the spoil onto a conveyor which travels through the machine. The conveyor transfers the spoil to the rear of the machine. The truck is loaded and takes the spoil back to the shaft. The spoil is then dumped into the breaker feeder. This crushes the rock into small pieces, which are then transferred to the surface by a specially designed vertical conveyor. The spoil collects on a stockpile inside an acoustic shed and is then loaded into trucks and taken off site. After the heading has been excavated, a surveyor checks that the tunnel is the correct shape and is on the right alignment. A geotechnical engineer also inspects the surface of the cut rock to ensure that the design for the supporting rock bolts and shotcrete will be suitable. Rock bolts are drilled into the rock to support the roof and walls of the tunnel. Holes are drilled, the bolts placed into the holes, and high strength grout is pumped around the bolts to lock them into the surrounding rock. The rock bolts are installed in a pattern to strengthen the rock, to keep the excavation safe and create a permanent support for the tunnel. A mobile robotic machine is used to spray shotcrete, a special type of concrete, at high pressure onto the surface of the excavation to create the primary lining for the tunnel. The shotcrete is tested to ensure it has set correctly at the right thickness so work can continue. Once the top heading has been shotcreted, the road header then excavates the base of the tunnel, known as the bench. After the bench has been cut, the tunnel undergoes a final lining process. The existing primary shotcrete layer is smoothed and then a waterproofing membrane is applied. A final shotcrete lining is then sprayed to protect the waterproofing. Once the tunnels are lined, there are still a number of construction activities that need to be completed before the tunnel is finished. Some services are installed below the road, such as conduits for electrical and communication cables and stormwater pipes. Steel pipes for fire water, fans and lights are installed on the walls and roof of the tunnel. Barriers and panels are constructed along the edges of the tunnel. Pavement is built, line marking painted and signs are installed to finish the tunnel ready for traffic. Once the tunnels are completed in 2019, they will save motorists up to 15 minutes in travel time and remove heavy vehicles from Pennant Hills Road. North Connects, building for the future.